Yes, he's, uh, this whole door jam is going to come off. And you can see we've already removed the door jam inside here. And this is going to get a new arched door with uh, wrought iron with grapes and so forth on it. And the door will swing this way like it did before. Mm -hmm. pretty much the best way to go. And it uh, should be very, very nice. Double, uh, double pane glass on it, nitrogen filled. The bottom will have a very tight seal with a guillotine that comes down. So when the door shuts, there's a guillotine that comes down and makes the seal look for the threshold so that there's no leaking of air whatsoever. First of all, if it's not going to be dual pane, you know, you're going to know it right away because at 55 degrees it's going to start sweating and you're going to have fog uh -huh. on the outside of your door. Um, and that's how you're going to know if your door is not properly done because it's going to sweat and it's going to fog up on you. And even in 55 degrees, double, the double pane door windows may fog up and sweat. It's just going to be the nature of the beast at this type of, you know, 100 degree heat and 90% humidity. During these months, these weather phenomena, you may get a little sweating. It's just something that may happen. Some people call me and say, what can I do, Dave? And I say, well, the only thing you can do is just raise your temperature in your cellar a little bit to let the fog go away. As soon as you get it up high enough where the fog goes away, keep it there until this weather phenomenon with the high heat and humidity goes away and then you can put it back to count again. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate that you, uh, you know, have to vary your temperature and wine because you don't want to do that. But if you want to have the glass and you want the looks, you may have to put up with it. And when you see people who have an all glass cellar, single pane, you know, like there's a lot of them out there. We mm -hmm. do a lot of them. You can't really get 55 degrees out of them without just having your floor wet all the time. You have to ask a higher temperature of your cellar and be happy with it.